So Ashley, go on to the bigger community, you know, tell us about what you're doing with your giving back program and some of the initiatives you have going on, you know, what, share your passion with uh, the community projects and what the business is doing for the community. Yeah. You know, growing up here, I wouldn't say my head was in the sand, but I guess we were so busy with our own lives we would go to the VFW or we would go somewhere, but we didn't really have the bandwidth to be able to designate that time. I mean, my family worked full time. And so um, getting into real estate and really seeing where there's needs in our community, it really just made me be like, I want to schedule this in. You know, this is important to me. This is something that I think we need to make our community better. And, you know, growing up in a middle, middle class family here, I mean, Durango just keeps getting more and more expensive every year to live here and people should, people need help. And that was a big thing about that. And so over the years, we've always done, you know, charitable things that we would pick. We would just pick events or tournaments or donations. And I said, well, what about my clients and my customers? They're not really having a say. And this is their money too. This is them supporting me and creating these decisions. So that's why we created the Circle Fund. It's our first year. And it's just a donation out of every single one of my um, my transactions that goes into a pot. And then at the end of the year, we're going to give the pot away to the com- someone, some nonprofit in the community that my customers and my clients get to pick. They're going to vote on it in October. And that's just because I feel like we all like to feel like we have a say on where things go. And that's kind of my idea. And then we're still doing the stuff that we do like to donate to anyways. But my big thing is I really love um, helping veterans. That's a big thing for me. Um, My dad's a Vietnam veteran, like I mentioned earlier. So I do a lot with the veterans in our community, but you know, there's always places we can, I like to go anywhere where I can help. <laughs> and I'll add, oh, I'm just going to add, Ashley, that that Vietnam vet, my dad's a Vietnam vet too. So thank you for everything that you do or plan to do for that population of folks. They they truly are deserving um, and they they are appreciative of whatever is done for them with thought in mind that, you know, it's not a handout, you know, we are looking yeah. to celebrate you and honor you. So um, kudos to you for that. Thank yeah. you. Yes. And I really appreciate, I'm going to go back to your adaptability. You know, Ashley mm-hmm. is the person that she just organized a big benefit for someone at the VFW because she saw the woman crying, had empathy, asked a couple of questions and made it freaking happen. And not only did you help that woman, you sharing this with other people and how you can make action and anybody can make something happen by just initiating and getting people on board, um, you're paying it forward because Absolutely. everybody matters and it doesn't have to be a six month, you know, six month span to try to plan something big. If you see something that needs assistance, see someone who needs help, you can do it, you know, go for it and do it. And there are people out there that will help you do that. Yeah. I can't live scared. Oh, I'm I like, you that. gotta send it. I'd rather take a hundred failures in one success than, you know, I fail every day. I feel like, but then I'm like, that's not really a failure. That's a lesson learned. And then it just makes it better the next day, but you just got to keep being gritty. You yeah. know, I'm just gritty. Yeah. Like I get bucked off a horse. I'm going to get right back on. i you know, something doesn't go my way. I'm like, okay, let's try it again. Like again and again and again. And it probably drives my husband crazy, but I'm always like, again, He's like, but it didn't work. again, we got to do it again. I love that. 